Hey guys. So firstly I have like a little intro thing. Um, I will be drawing today, which I have never ever ever done on this channel. So I am really hoping you guys are gonna like this. If not, I've just you know. Anyway, I'm really gonna be trying my hardest. This is where I will be drawing. I will show you an example of my work. Um, so this is Woodward from SpongeBob that I drew yesterday. Um, so that's quite easy to draw. So I'm going to show you guys how to draw Squidward. So finding a page that is better to work on. So the first step is to take a pencil. This is all drawing freehand. This is just the Miss Big at Evolution HP pencil. Right. So we're starting off with an oval shape as his head. Okay, so we've got our oval. I hope you guys can see that. Oh, can you see? Oh, I don't know why I can't see that. Okay, I'll try and press a bit harder. Okay, you can kind of see that. Split it into three really lightly. Do a neck type of thing. So this is what we've got so far. Then I will just check back. Right. It's kind of like an upside down cucumber as his mouth. So, just do your cucumber. So, this is what you have so far. Yeah, now this is just the easy version. If you want the shading and detail version, this one I can do that, but not today. Okay, so split it in half and doing your eyes from the half to just about uh, the first third. Same with the other one. Okay, so as his eyelids, we will kind of turn it up here. If you guys like these type of videos, I will do more with better quality, but this is kind of just a test video, if you guys even enjoy something like this. So, he's got kind of rectangular pupils, can do that. Um, then it's his nose, so just, it's his nose is just big, so... <laughs> You can rub this out after, you can make the mouth. Now it's the eyebrows for the expression, so making this up, down, just the dots on his head that he has. And Yeah, that should be about it for the easy version. So, this is without the shading, without everything. Here is your easy version. Now, remember guys, um, your shading, because it really does help with quite a lot of things. Um, here is just a shaded circle that I did. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed that and 
I will talk to you guys later. Bye.